What is up, Dragons for me, sir? So today, uh, we have another creepypasta reaction to do. This one, we're gonna react into two different ones. We're gonna react to the Shadow and the Smiley Man. Um, I think I think these ones are gonna do well, especially the sh the Smiley Man. Uh, I don't say it's shiny, man. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, if you guys want me to react to any more creepy pastas, leave a comment down below of what I should react to. Also, check out the playlist I uh, put up on the top right corner. That way, you guys to see the past one videos that I reacted to about creepy pastas. Um, but yeah, also, um, if you guys want more, uh, turn on, hit the, uh, <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Uh, turn on notifications as well as that bell button to get you can never know when I do a reaction video just like this one. So, yeah, um, the shadow is three minutes long, and the smiley man is almost six minutes long. So, yeah, this is going to be a good one. Let's get into this one. Bam! The shadow. I don't know much about this one. 19-year-old single child Damian Andrews would drive directly from campus after his last class on Friday to his job at a gas station for six hours, and after his shift was done, he'd go back to his parents' house. Usually his parents weren't home on weekend nights, as they were the ones who were more often out drinking. <laughs> Damian pulled into the empty driveway, and as expected, everything was dark in the house. That's he needed shit. to put his bike that was still in his trunk back into the shed in the backyard. So he removed the bike from the trunk of his truck and rode it down the pavement past the fence and to the shed. Uh, when he shut the shed door, he noticed the bathroom... We actually have two sheds in the backyard. One that's, like, uh, they're both old, so... Yeah, I don't think we ever, like, put sheds in the, uh, the bikes in the back, in the sheds. Uh, normally we just have it in the back patio. But, uh, yeah, it's... Kind of interesting. Room light upstairs in the house was on now. He didn't remember noticing the bathroom light being on when he passed the side of the house, so he assumed that maybe one of his parents stayed home for the night. No. Nope. Damien entered the house through the back door, and as he opened his mouth ready to call for one of his parents, something deep down told him not to. Damien went up the half flight of stairs from his den to the midsection of the house. He looked up the short stairway to the upstairs, and saw a light creeping into the hallway through the closed bathroom door. So somebody was in there. He went upstairs calling out mom and dad. In the there were no responses, but he was in very close range of the bathroom now, which made it odd. He approached the bathroom door, again calling out mom and dad. No response. Damien figured maybe his mom was in the bathtub with earbuds in or something. The door was locked, so one of them had to be in there. Hmm. When the phone rang, he went downstairs to answer it, to find out it was his dad calling, checking in to make sure Damien made it home okay. His dad sounded drunk as usual per Friday nights, hmm. so Damien questioned him as to why he left mom at home as he walked back upstairs to the bathroom door. His dad seemed confused. Then he noticed at the bottom of the door, through the opening, two shadow outlines of feet standing by the door. That's nice, literally mom. facing the door right on top of it. Then Damien's dad dropped a bomb and told him that his mother was right beside him at the table. He did so the only logical the thing he could bathroom. do. He ran outside, hung up on his dad, and called the police. When Damien looked up to the bathroom window, he saw the light turn off. Ten minutes of hiding in the bushes later, he heard the police out front, who in the end, found nobody in the house. Oh, that is... That was actually a pretty good, but kind of like a short one. So, apparently there was some ghost or something was inside the bathroom while his parents were like out, like, on a honeymoon or something. But that's interesting. Um, I don't think there's... Don't think I had to deal with something like that tonight. <laughs> but, yeah. All I'm going to say is, good one. Let's see what the next one. This one, the next one is the Smiley Man. Let's see what this one has in store. The 
smiley man. About five years ago, I lived downtown in a major city in the US. I've always been a night person, so I would often find myself bored after my roommate, who was decidedly not a night person, went to sleep. To pass the time, I used to go for long walks and spend the time thinking. I spent four years like that, walking alone at night. I'm actually a kind of a night person myself. I, I got trouble sleeping at night, so I usually stay up to like 2 or 3 o'clock at night. And then I would go back to bed. Because, yeah, boy needs some sleep. Never once had a reason to feel afraid. I always used to joke with my roommate that even the drug dealers in the city were polite, <laughs> but all of that changed in just a few minutes of one evening. It was a Wednesday, somewhere between 1 and 2 in the morning, and I was near a police patrolled park, quite a ways from my apartment. It was a quiet night, even for a weeknight, with heavy little traffic and almost no one on foot. The park as it was night most too. nights was completely empty. I turned down a short side street in order to loop back to my apartment when I first noticed him. At the far end of the street on my side oh, no. was the silhouette of a man dancing. It was a strange dance, similar to a waltz, but he finished each box with an odd forward stride. I guess you could say he was dance walking, headed straight for me. Deciding he was probably drunk, I stepped as close as I could to the road to give him the majority of the side and wearing an old suit. He danced closer still, until I could make out his face. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I just remembered something. It was a long time ago. Uh, I was. It was during school and uh, I think it was around somewhere around October. Or it was one of my school years. I think I would watch a video something like this about the smiling man. I watched a video about the smiling man. It was I can't remember it was a long time ago. It just clicked into my head. Holy crap, that was that's interesting. His eyes were wide open and wild, head tilted back slightly, looking off at the sky. His mouth was formed in a painfully wide cartoon of a smile between the eyes and the smile. I decided to cross the street before he danced any closer. Uh, yeah. I took my eyes off of him to cross the empty street. As I reached to his yes. side, I glanced back and then stopped dead in my tracks. He had stopped dancing and was standing with one foot in the street perfectly parallel to me. Oh. He was facing me but still looking skyward, smile still wide on his lips. Oh, that's terrifying. I was completely and utterly unnerved by this. I started walking again, but kept my eyes on the man. He didn't move. Once I had put about half a block between us, I turned away from him for a moment to watch the sidewalk in front of me. The street and sidewalk ahead of me were completely empty. Still unnerved, I looked back to where he had been standing to find him gone. For the briefest of moments I felt relieved, until I noticed him. He had crossed the street and was now slightly crouched down. I couldn't tell for sure due to the distance and the shadows, but I was certain he was facing me. Oh. I had looked away from him for no more than 10 seconds, so it was clear that he had moved fast. I was so shocked that I stood there for some time, staring at him, and then he started moving towards me again. He stood giant, exaggerated tiptoed steps as if he were a cartoon character sneaking up on someone, oh, that's just, except that's he creepy. was moving very, very quickly. Oh, no. I'd like to say at this point I ran away or pulled out my pepper spray or my cell phone or anything at all, but I didn't. I just stood there, completely frozen as the smiling man crept towards me, and then he stopped again, about a car length away from me, still smiling his smile. That still looking creepy. to the sky. Holy. When I finally found my voice, I blurted out the first thing that came to mind. What I meant to ask was, what do you want, in an angry commanding voice. What came out was a whimper. What? Regardless of whether or not humans can smell fear, they can certainly hear it. I heard it in my own voice, 
and that only made me more afraid. <laughs> but he didn't react to it at all. He just Be stood afraid. there, smiling. And then, after what felt like forever, he turned around, very slowly, and started dance walking away. Just like that. Not wanting to turn my back to him again, I just watched him go until he was far enough away to almost be out of sight. Oh, and then I realised something. He wasn't moving away anymore, nor was he dancing. I watched in horror as the distant shape of him grew larger and larger. He was coming back my way, and Wait. this time he was running. Oh no! I ran too. I ran until riding, I was boy. off of the side road and back onto a better lit road with sparse traffic. Looking behind me then, he was nowhere to be found. Oh. The rest of the way home, I kept glancing over my shoulder, always expecting to see his stupid smile, but he was never there. I lived in that city for six months after that night, and I never went out for another walk. There was something about his face that always haunts me. He didn't look drunk. He didn't look high. He looked completely and utterly insane. And that's a very, very scary thing to see. Yeah, it is. Huh. Alright, um... <laughs> that... that was insane. Um, that... that creeped me out. The smile man definitely creeped me the hell out. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna walk around at night. But, yeah, uh, <laughs> all I'm saying is that was actually pretty good. Um, but just, oof, I'm just weirded out by that. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's another reaction to done. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, leave a like if you do. Go subscribe to me. Let's get to 500 subscribers. And if you want more content, check out the Boys' channels, Mal Rhino, Rust Diffuse, and Sparks and Libby. All three channels are in the link in the description. And I'm Ray Mason, signing out. Peace, dragons.